To show progress towards a goal, I'll show how to build a circular progress chart made of dots in Tableau. And I'll use a parameter to control the number of dots so it can scale dynamically. We also get full control over the colors, so there's tons of combos we can do. The first step to plotting any circular visual is to go to the Data Source tab to union the data. This will give us the extra rows we need to plot each dot around the circle. First, I'll create a parameter so I can define the number of points I want to use. That way we can dynamically change the number of dots. Then I'll create a calculated field to space the points. And since table name is what distinguishes the unionized tables, I'll use a formula that checks that the table name contains one. If it does, then I'll assign the value one. Otherwise, I'll use the number of points parameter. And I like using the contains one, so it works even if I rename the data source. Next, I'll create another calculated field to spread the dots evenly around the circle by calculating the angle for each point. All these formulas are in the description, but this one basically gives each dot a spot around the circle by evenly dividing the full circle based on the total number of dots. And we also need to plot the X and Y positions, so I'm going to use the sign of the angle field for X. And this will give us the horizontal position for each point along the circle based on its angle. Then I'll just duplicate this field edit it so I can change it to cosine for the y position. And now we can build the structure. I'll start by moving x into the columns and y into the rows. Then I'll right click on the points field so I can create some bins. And I'll set the size of the bins to 1. Then I'll bring this bins field into the marks. That way I can set the table calculation for x to compute using the bins. And I'll do the same thing for y. This works because bins control the order of the points, and computing using them makes sure that each dot gets the right position around the circle. I'll change the mark type to a circle, and since the number of bins comes from the parameter in the formula, we can use the number of points parameter to control how many circles appear in the chart. But right now all the circles are the same color, so it's not actually showing any progress. We just need one more calculated field that uses the progress value to set the colors for the circle. This formula compares each circle's position using index to a progress target based on a metric, which in this case I'm using revenue as the metric, and 215 billion as the target. I'm dividing by 2 because the union doubled the rows, and I'm multiplying by the number of points to convert the percentage progress into the number of circles to fill. And this will tell Tableau which circles should be filled to represent progress. So I'll pull this into the marks and apply some filters because I only want to look at one segment and one year. And because we're not using any LODs, we don't need to adjust the formulas. I'll right click on the colors field so I can compute using the bins, and I'll change this to a color. And if you want to enhance this to show the actual progress, you can type zero into the rows, then right click to make this a dual access. And using that second mark, I'm going to change the mark type to text. I'll remove everything in there and type revenue divided by the target. Then I'll make this text. But you can see it's over 100% right now because I need to divide this by 2 since I union the data. And that duplicated the number of rows. So you can see it's about 74%, and that's the same progress that's visually represented by how many circles are filled in in blue. And I can use the parameter to change the number of points, and the colors will adjust to always show that 74%. For some formatting, I'm going to start by removing the headers. Then I'll format the worksheet so I can remove the shading, the row and column dividers, and under lines, I'll remove the grid lines and the zero lines. Then I'll format the progress value so I can change the number formatting to a percentage with no decimals. And I can format the text itself using text within the second mark. I'll just make the percentage bigger and bolder so it stands out. And add some text like progress this year to provide context. And we could add even more metrics here like the actual dollar amount. Under the first mark, I'll remove the measure name's coloring. That way I can edit the colors using the legend. For the filled in portion, you could use green to intuitively represent progress, and gray for the unfilled part. But I'm going to show how you can use a more creative color combination to place this against a dark background. I'll make the completed circles a solid white, and the remaining ones fully transparent, using this custom hex code I loaded into my color palette. And since this is going on a dark background, I'm also going to change the text to white so it matches. Then on the dashboard, I'll add the circular progress chart with dots. I'll hide the title of the worksheet and resize it to be next to the revenue card. But you can see we can't really see the transparent circles at the moment. 
So I'll go back to the worksheet and under our first mark, which is for the circles, I'm gonna give these a white border. That way we can still see the dots representing the progress not made. I'll also remove everything in the tooltip to avoid any confusion. Now we have a great way to show progress that's modern and intuitive. And because the number of points is controlled by a parameter, we can easily scale it to fit the layout, adding more dots for when we have more space and fewer dots for when we have less space. This customizable circular progress chart with dots took less than five minutes to build, and it gives a much more visual and fun way to show progress than just a number.